e-commerce, we know that it is booming uh, in every way. And I would say, despite the headwinds, the tariff war, we have a great margin of improvement, at least in Europe, when it comes to the e-commerce adoption and e-commerce revenue generation. I think today was a very good example of us seeing what the enormous opportunities are for our consumers or also our colleagues working for us and also in terms of efficiency for the companies that we operate. So my key takeaway for today is the fact that uh, AI is making people even more curious and uh, even more like willing to understand how it's going to shape uh, the future and it's uh, very, very interesting. One word to describe this innovation day. Insightful. Uh, coming from the U.S., uh, what I realized is that GeoPost and the entire e-commerce sector here in uh, Europe is innovating and thinking about the next generation of commerce. Uh, this event uh, empowers the team to adapt uh, a test online mindset, giving them the permission to take the calculated risk necessary to future-proof the organization. This edition was very rewarding for the mind. It's time to make an announcement, a key announcement. We are launching Geopost Vision, which is a pioneering startup, 100% owned by Geopost. But more than a startup, it's a great project. Geopost Vision collects imagery through connected dash cam within our delivery fleet everywhere in Europe. What I loved about today's event is that we're rediscovering uh, use cases that brands and retailers have worked on for the past five, six years, but with the advances of generative AI. My main key takeaway for today is that innovation never stops. It's an ongoing process where you can always learn new things, but also improve the way you're working. I think we've seen today the importance of AI integrated in the shopping process, but also the importance of personalization at scale. My first statement was around technology focus, but also trying to highlight our Geopost way of working. There is a Geopost way that is very specific to build the trust that is needed in this changing world.